Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of our bug series. Today we're gonna look at even more bugs that still aren't fixed. Plenty of them have first appeared years ago, but still await to be fixed by Riot. In this episode, I'll show you six of them. This video, just like this entire series, was again made possible by Facecheck. Facecheck is a free app that allows you to check out picks and bounce and different stats in Champ Select. You can also set your runes and item set with just a single click. During the game you can see your life performance and stats of everyone in the game, including, for example, all of their runes. After the game you can check out their analytics to help you improve and also to figure out who lost you that very important promo game. Be sure to check out the link in the description to download Facecheck and big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Let's start with the bug that you have seen in the intro of the video, the Kogmo auto attack after death bug. It's one of the more common bugs in the recent years. I did a bit of research on YouTube and the oldest clip of that bug I found was with Froggen playing against Kogmo in 2015. I myself made a video about it in 2017. And all in all, there have been tens of videos of this bug in the last years and also even more in the last months. Bug is pretty simple. You need your W activated and with the help of attack move, it's likely you will get a free auto attack after death. One of the most iconic bugs and it's great to see it still being around. Bug number two. This one is a bug that can happen pretty much every single game. When you capture Rift Herald and you later use it, your red trinket will get a free refresh. Normal trinket doesn't get refreshed, but red trinket does get a refresh. Why? I don't know, but I guess it's a feature by now. This feature even allows you to use red trinket twice in a row. Amazing. Bug number three. For once we're gonna actually go outside of Summoner's Rift. This one works in ARAM only, but it used to work in modes like Ascension for example, where you could get completely stuck out of the map. I made my video about this bug in 2015, but you can also find a video about it, for example, from 2013. The way it works is pretty simple. If you use your global ult, you can teleport yourself to the blue side fountain. As you can see in this clip, my range is nowhere near the fountain and I can still easily reach it. It can be done on both sides of the map, but it's crucial to aim as far away from lane as possible. As you can see, my range is nowhere near and I can still TP to the blue team base. It will always get you to the blue team base, so it's pretty much only useful if you play on the red side. And if you want a free execute or maybe some very sneaky backdoor. After all, with Rise you can pretty much get your entire team there. Bug number 4 is the helicopter action. I first accidentally discovered it shortly after release, but few months after, one creator on Chinese platform Bilibili mastered this technique. It still works wonderfully up until today. Maybe one day someone in pro play will fulfill my dream and pull it off in competitive. That would be pretty amazing. Bug number 5 is another action bug. Yet again you can extend the length of your E. Now you can do it by using hex gates that is nearby. Simply cast your E and click the hex gate and your E would extend. Special thanks to Daniel for teaching me this strat. And bug number 5.5, cause it's another not fixed action bug, it is still possible to face through walls with action E. All of those action bugs I've shown in my videos in the recent months, but as you can tell, all of them are still possible in this form or another. Fantastic. And finally, bug number 6. Warning, warning. This bug can cause some serious discomfort. Probably not epilepsy, but I prefer to warn you guys here. I made a video about this one in August 2020 and I guess it's a feature ever since this skin was made and that was in late 2018. Proper input of keys can cause Dragon Trainer Heimerdinger to basically cover your entire screen with very annoying blinks like you can see here. To me, seeing this for a minute is enough to get a headache, so I cannot imagine someone spamming it in game to annoy enemies. And imagine if they themselves use custom skin at the same time, not seeing anything negative there. I really wish this one gets fixed, cause it's very hard to find a more uncomfortable bug. That would be it for this episode of the bugs that still aren't fixed. If you guys have any bugs that you think should appear in this series, let me know in comments and maybe it will appear in the next episode. I'm pretty sure there are plenty more bugs to cover. Thank you so much for watching, take care and have a good day.